happy day 933 of what you up to now. Sharon Hornells from here documenting my journey. And it's obviously been a long one as I transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate America, corporate world of business and, and like 27 or so different businesses and industries to the online world. How do you do that? How have I done it? Obviously I'm still doing it and will continue to do it probably till the day I kick it, till the day I kick the bucket. Our idiom today for Supersize Your Business was kick up your heels. And it's one of those idioms that's really interesting. It originally meant to be killed or die in the 1600s. And over time, it changed. And by the 1900s, it came to mean to celebrate, to, to kick up your heels, to dance exuberantly, to prance like a horse, to have fun, to, to find joy in things, which I like the meaning a lot better than to kick it or kick the bucket or kick and die It's a, or to be killed. It's a lot more fun saying to celebrate than it is to kick up your heels and die. So I like kick up your heels in a positive, fun, celebratory way. How do we acknowledge? How do we celebrate? How are we recognizing the things that are working in our lives that we're grateful for and not focusing on the things that aren't working? Um, one thing I've learned over my many years here on the planet is that if I focus on the things that are work not working, if I focus on the things I don't want, guess what? More of that nonsense shows up in my life. Not fair, but guess what? It's ultimately fair. I love it. I, my dad always raised my sisters, and I, and he would tell us all the time, life isn't fair. Life's not fair. That's not fair. It's not fair. And he didn't say it in a way that he was whiny or complaining. He was teaching us to understand that sometimes life doesn't feel fair to us, but if we really step back and examine the situation and look at it, life is really, really fair. And, you know, people, I'm sure, are thinking I'm crazy when I say that because, you know, you look at all the injustices in the world, all the things that don't seem equal or equitable. But it isn't about life being equal. Life is definitely not equal. I don't think anyone on the planet would argue life is equal and everybody should have the exact same thing. Actually, some people will argue that, but it, it doesn't work that way. What you put into something is what you get out of it. What you contribute to something in the world and in, in, in a bigger global sense what i contribute to the world what i give how how i add value to the to the universe is what i get back not do i specifically and there and and that's the hard thing over the last 100 and 150 years or so we have been compensated for our time are we compensated fairly for our time probably most people feel like they're not compensated fairly for their time but that's, that's the thing. As employees, we sell our time. As uh, service providers, we sell our time. We put a price on our time, we sell it. We exchange our time, our, our talents for other resources, usually money. And we could get into a whole discussion about that, but it's off, off the beaten track of what I even want to care about or talk about today. Uh, just thinking about kicking, kicking things, kicking things into high gear. Get up and go challenge is all about taking action, kicking it, getting moving, right? Doing something and not waiting for somebody to do it for you. Not waiting for something outside of you to trigger that you should do something. COVID-19, terrible thing, right? A pandemic is a terrible thing. There's no way of, of saying, oh, it's awesome. But anything that happens, good or bad, has aspects of it that are there to show us something, to teach us something. And the vast majority of people probably aren't looking for what is good about this? What is the benefit in this? How can I turn this situation into my favor? The ones that are, are, are killing it. They're literally kicking it and killing it all the way to the bank. The ones that are waiting for the world to go back to normal are hurting in a really bad way. Anybody who isn't taking personal responsibility for their situation and actively looking for ways to move forward in their life is really, really struggling right now. Um, at least that's what I'm seeing in, in the people that I'm interacting with is the ones that are, are holding on to the past and wanting things to go back to normal and complaining about what is different and what's changing are really having a hard time. The ones that are saying, okay, well that sucked. COVID sucked. Shut my business down for four months, you know, but did I just sit there and cry and moan and complain about what I couldn't do. No, I found new ways to serve people. I found ways, creative ways online and through technology 
to connect with at least some of my customers to keep things moving forward. Is it the same as it's been before? Is it in some in some people's businesses, it's actually multiples of the kind of business they were doing before. And a lot of businesses are finding, a lot of people are finding that there's a whole lot of advantages to working from home. There's a whole lot of savings from both the employee standpoint in time and energy and gas and clothes and all kinds of other things than going into the office every single day. I found that when I moved online versus going into the shop every day. Uh, just the commute, and I, I was less than 15 minutes from my house, my business, and, but that half hour every day and the going and dealing with other people and traffic and everything, I didn't have to do that anymore. Um, I didn't have to buy gas, things like that. So there's always positives, but we need to look for them. We need to remind ourselves to look for what's in it for us instead of what we're trying to hang on to that isn't, it doesn't exist anymore. And guess what? Pandemic has just been a huge wake up call for everyone simultaneously. All of us all the time are going through changes and situations and challenges, right? It's just such a big deal because so many people are being simultaneously affected and we're being impacted and affected in ways that are being manipulated by other people, right? And not for our good, but for their own greed or for their own um, advantage for the to, to gain more power. And so a lot of times we feel like we're pawns in other people's games. Guess what? Because we are pawns in other people's games. It doesn't mean we have to choose to participate and be pawns in other people's games. As soon as we step up, focus on who we really are, what's really right for us, what we really want, and the direction we really want to go, and start taking action toward that, all of the other nonsense in the world, it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. It's just more noise and there's always been a lot of noise in our lives and in our world and the better we are at filtering out the stuff that is is not for us not good for us bad for us the the better our lives go that's my sermon on the mount for today i guess that's my my sermon is so let's focus on what we can do let's celebrate and be joyful and focus on what we can do not on what we can't do uh fun challenge today was things that we're afraid of or scared of like thunderstorms or snakes or whatever and how we can overcome that right because there's always ways to guess what we're all afraid of something I absolutely positively all of us are afraid of something if we weren't afraid of something we would be the ultimate versions of ourselves we would be exactly where we want to be we'd have everything we want and we'd be done with our lives which never happens right no matter who we are and what we want and how much we achieve we always want more right have you ever wanted something really, really badly, you worked super duper hard and you got it and you achieved it, how long did you actually feel excited and amazed and enjoy that thing? It's usually a lot less time than it took you to achieve it, right? So for example, I wanted a stereo when I was in, in high school because I wanted this cool stereo to take to college with me. So I started my sophomore year working and saving and earning money and putting it aside to buy this stereo. Now that's one thing that I enjoyed for decades and I kept it forever because I worked so hard to get it. Much to my ex-husband's dismay, he couldn't wait till we moved into our, our final house that we built and, he, and I, let him, I let it go. But up until then, I worked really hard for that. I achieved it and I enjoyed that for a very long time. But most things that I've wanted and I've achieved in my life, I felt really good about for a little bit of time, maybe a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And then it was like old hat and... and even before I, I actually achieved that goal, I was already on to the next thing. Because as human beings, we are always wanting progress. We're always wanting more. So those are the things I'm working on today. Uh, get up and go challenge today. We're moving on to another area or aspect of our life. There's seven areas of our life. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships and contribution. Uh, this time through the SOAP framework, I do a, I, and teach a, a SOAP framework, an, an automatic way for incorporating a change process that benefits you into your subconscious. So whenever a change or a challenge, whether it's as big as COVID or as small as breaking a nail, you, you handle it with in the best way possible for you. Maybe it's with ease and grace, maybe it's with a couple of curse words, whatever is best for you given the particular change or situation. So been through the framework twice now did it once for my physical 
something physical and I actually used my left knee. Then I went through it for something financial and I am working through how to add an additional $3,000 income to cover the cost of a project I want to do. And then this time, this next time through, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick something for relationships. I'm picking a really hard thing. So I'm kind of scared. I, guess what? I'm afraid of stuff. If I weren't afraid of this aspect of relationships, I would have done it already, right? That's, that's how I know if I actually have resistance or fear to something. If I say I want something and I keep telling myself I want something and I don't have it yet, it's because there's something I'm resisting or blocking or that I'm afraid of. Guess what? If I'm making excuses, excuses are just a way of me covering up something I'm afraid of. So tonight, I'm going to start thinking about what am I afraid of and why am I not and why have I not yet made this relationship choice and decision? I have to be real honest with myself. That's what that's how that's how our lives work out better. Is if we're learning our lessons along the way and being honest with ourselves. Don't have to be honest with anybody else, but I have to be honest with myself, right? And guess what? There's a few people out there that can see right through us, that know when we're not being 100% honest with ourselves, when we're not living up to our potential and what we're capable of. And those are the rare people that we need in our life that so will call us out on it and say, uh, Mom, guess what you just said? That's proving to me that you're not paying attention to this area and aspect of your life. That is not like you. You deserve better. Get off your derriere. What you're going to do now, get going and just do it. Forget about what you've been afraid of in the past about it and just take an action toward it. All right, that's it. That's all I've got today. Have an absolutely amazing day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow to fill you in on what I'm doing, what's working, what's not, as I transition from the brick and mortar world to the online world. Already out of the, the brick and mortar world for the most part, although I am working with some businesses right now that are launching, actually literally launching new businesses during the pandemic. So if you don't think that during a pandemic you can do anything, I beg to differ. All right, have a great day. See you tomorrow.